Hi, I'm Gina Clark. I'm the editor-in-chief of the FinTech Times, and I'm here at Money 2020 in Amsterdam. Hi, my name is Soren. I'm the chief growth officer at Banking Circle, also here at Money 2020. Hi, Soren. Nice to meet you here in the flesh for the first time. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, today we're talking about Banking Circle, and I'm interested in whether you think the acceleration of digital payments is mainly down to the pandemic or whether we were heading there anyway? I think we were headed there anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think the pandemic has changed the evolution, rather it has exactly as you say, it's accelerated the evolution. Uh, so what we were, uh, what we're seeing was, was inevitable in my view, but it's just been accelerated this. What would you say banks and payment services are doing to meet the new requirements of individuals? Yeah, so there are new requirements. Consumers have been moving more and more online and as they have uh, their expectations for fast and relatively cheap uh, payments, but more than that, there is also a demand for flexible payments. I think Buy Now Pay Later is a great example of that. Uh, I, 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 there's one fact I keep remembering, which is that in, in December last year, a, a quarter of all Christmas presents in the UK was, were bought using BNPL. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other similar stats, but I think it's, 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 it's a remarkable one that really tells us that this is a new payment method that is here to stay, that the consumers have demanded because they like the flexibility of that. And, and that, is, that is accelerating and that is what we're seeing. And uh, all the, the providers of payments and, and such solutions will need to accommodate those new demands. Yes, I mean, there's certainly some opportunities, but I imagine there's some challenges as well. Yes, so competition has increased because the, the battle for the online merchant's uh, interface and the ownership of that as, as client is increasing because it's become very attractive. So you see, certainly see payment companies trying to expand their propositions towards those online merchants. You also see banks trying to do so and build uh, nice solutions for their uh, SMEs, including online merchants. But you also see new players, relatively new players, ERP systems are delivering more and more nice apps in their ecosystems to serve those players, those online merchants. But also pl platform so uh, software platforms. So uh, for example, Shopify trying to build or indeed successfully building a very rich uh, ecosystem that includes payments and capital to the same online merchants. So uh, competition is intensifying, I would say. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, and is there anything stopping banks and payment companies from servicing these individuals effectively? Well, I think increasingly banks and payment companies will need to ask themselves what their core uh, capabilities are. And I believe it is exactly that of, of building strong relationships with, for example, online merchants. And as they do so, they will need to uh, partner up with others to uh, get some of the back-end solutions to enable their services. Uh, and that's where we come in as Banking Circle. Uh, we deliver the payments, the accounts, the FX, the lending, and much more, enabling those companies in successfully building their relationships. So how is Banking Circle planning on solving this, and why aren't banks and payment companies doing it themselves? Well, Banking Circle is in a quite unparalleled and audacious mission to build direct uh, clearing and settlement accesses to the major currencies of the world. That will constitute a core and a platform from which these transactions can, payments and accounts can happen. Around that, we're then adding on additional solutions. And we believe that collectively will enable payment companies and banks to serve their clients better. So you're building an ecosystem around payments? Yes, exactly. Excellent. And we're here today at Money 2020. What do you hope to achieve from your visit? Well, we are here to get as many acquaintances and business relationships as we can. And we think this is a great place to achieve that. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Well, thank you.